Hi, I'm Anuradha. I'm a scientist by profession and an ardent nature lover. So from my childhood, I have always been fascinated in working with animals. So what better way to do that? I started studying biology and uh, that helped me in understanding how animals behave and what they do, why they are doing those things. I started my bachelor's and my master's. I did that in zoology and then I specialized in ecology and evolution during my PhD days. So after PhD, I moved on to one of the coldest parts of this planet to the University of Calgary in Canada to pursue some of the ways in which animals think and decide what they are doing. So I did my postdoc in neuroethology. And after that, as you can see that I'm here right now at Flame University, trying to pursue my teaching and my research career here. This Young Biologist Award actually came to me as a pleasant surprise because I did not know that Nature Mates India were contemplating me for this year's award. So Nature Mates India is an NGO which is based primarily in West Bengal but they work all across India. What they do is they are majorly at the confluence of human-wildlife coexistence. They do a lot of specialization in conservation and restoration work, environmental impact assessments, as well as uh, multiple research ideas that they pursue with the forest department, as well as a lot of governmental and non-governmental organizations, academic and non-academic spaces. This award was given to me for my work on herpetofauna in India. Herpetofauna, as we all know, is the study of amphibians and reptiles and throughout my master's and PhD, I have worked with amphibians and reptiles. When I was thinking of coming back to India, I looked at multiple places here in India and Flame was one of the most uh, attractive places that I found because they are a liberal arts university. I myself have never studied in a liberal arts university, but the concept and the idea that this is the philosophy that it's based on always excited me because it's a kind of a place where you get the idea of pursuing multiple disciplines before actually choosing one. So you can actually experience all sorts of various perspectives and different experiences that other people have. You can go and talk to them, you can experience that, and then you can choose where your passion lies. So it is even true for both the students as well as the faculty, I would say. When I was looking forward to coming back to India, it was a place like Flame that I was looking forward to because it attracted me a lot. It's a liberal arts university. I myself have never studied in a liberal arts university, but it is here that you get a knowledge of every discipline that is out there. And then you can follow your passion and understand what you love. It is a place like this which brings out the best, be it in a faculty or a student. Being in Flame, it gives me the opportunity to actually interact with a lot of interesting and unique people. They give me different perspectives that I can ask my scientific questions with. And I think the students also gain this perspective here. Being here, they get a broad idea of all kinds of fields before they can pursue their own passion. They can interact with faculties who have expertise in multiple fields. And I think the possibilities here are endless. The students, they just need to have an open mind and a curious nature. And that's all it needs to have a brilliant life ahead. I teach environmental studies and ecology in the Department of Physical and Natural Sciences at Flame University. Being in this department, uh, we all know that right now we have to think about the environment and being environmentally conscious is the need of the hour. Nobody can escape that. We know that there are multiple challenges which lie in front of us. We can experience ourselves, the rising temperatures, there are floods and droughts and fire events and it really sucks. It is scary as well. But what should we do about it? Should we just run around screaming? No, right? We have to do something. And who better to actually find innovative solutions to solve these problems than the young minds at Flame University? In our program for environmental studies, the curriculum is designed in a way to give the students the relevant experience and the first-hand knowledge of what is happening out there. So, what they can do is we design and give them assignments to shoot documentaries which are very creatively done. They also go out and shoot photo essays about topics which are very relevant, which are about the environment, about sustainability and they can actually see that all around them in Flame campus itself because it's a very environmentally conscious campus. So they get these ideas firsthand. 
We also take them to different field trips, give them research ideas to pursue, as well as we make them do group projects and debates in class, which gives them the opportunity to discuss amongst themselves about the relevant topics and come up with innovative solutions to these problems. I would always tell you to pick a program that inspires you, invokes your curiosity and exercises your brain because that is very important. And environmental studies gives you that opportunity all under one roof. We all should have a broad idea about the environment in itself because that is where we belong. This is our planet Earth and we have to protect it and conserve it so that our future generations are always able to experience the Earth as we can right now. We all should be very environmentally conscious because finally this is our home and we should all take care of it.